so basically why we clean the puja room or uh, prayer room is because once you and once when you want to enter the prayer room you want to see everything to be fresh correct to decorate them garland them properly with fresh flowers fresh fruits and everything why because when you want to pray when you are praying you want to feel the freshness of everything you want to intake that freshness feel them okay so that you will feel more closer more spiritually inclined and sync with the god okay with the energy that we think about okay whichever god you pray we want to try to sync with them we want to feel them exactly correct so the same way what is the problem right now in the world or people most of us are facing is we think that god is outside we feel that okay some uh, the prayer room the idol we worship everything we look at them so sacred so spiritual there is nothing wrong about it. but the same thing why is it not applied to our body and mind we never apply the same thing to our body and mind we don't feel ourselves that i am more important or i am the energy for me correct when you fall down let's say when you are hungry okay who needs the energy will you give fruits to the idol in front of you or will you eat the fruit to feel energetic we eat or will you give to the god and say that okay you eat if you eat i will get energy do we do that no right no. immediately after the puja if you are hungry we immediately take the apple and start eating or take fruits whatever or whatever uh, food that we have prepared we start eating why because we want to feel the energy we want to get the energy correct if you are so dizzy if you are so unconscious and you are falling unconscious at that time do you will will you go get up clean the house and try to pray or will you first thing okay no i have to have food i am feeling hungry i am feeling dizzy and conscious first thing you will give importance is to you right and these kind of importances happen only when the need becomes so um what to say so deepened or so important that means you are at a stage of uh, unconsciously falling down level at that time is when you give real importance to yourself but when you are normal when you are fine that time it's like uh, you know let's say it is time for uh, breakfast at 9 am okay so you don't want to eat breakfast just because you know you have not done puja no 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 wait wait uh, another half an hour uh, let me finish puja and then i'll come back and do things okay. but your 9 am is not the i mean let's say not not 9 at least 10 okay let's say 10 am your 10 am is not your breakfast time according to the nature but you have to have your breakfast before 9 am okay so it's already 10 o'clock and you have not finished your puja or prayer and you want to finish your prayer only then you want to come back and have your breakfast so right now where is the importance going the importance is going somewhere to the uh, your uh, external spiritual process i would call it okay i will not call it the internal but i let me call it as an external spiritual process okay if you don't respect the internal spiritual process first then obviously you will be prone to some kind of health issues okay so that means 5 to 7 is your excretionary time means you have to sink yourself to remove all the toxins from your body in many ways one can be your excretion emptying your bubbles by going to the toilet the, uh, or the restroom the next thing can be by doing exercise okay some kind of fitness yoga practices or uh, i mean pranayama practices whatever it can be okay so when you do them you remove the toxins as well that is very very important okay after that 7 to 9 becomes your stomach time that is your breakfast time so in olden days people used to do agriculture they go to the land by 5 o'clock and start you know doing the field work and then by the 7 they finish or 8 they finish and they will start having breakfast by 8 o'clock 8:30 they would have finished their breakfast and then start doing the next work why because by 11 12 o'clock the sun will be at the top and you will not be able to work they have to finish their work before 11 or 12 okay so only then by 12 they will have their lunch all right so when you sink along with the nature you will see that every job every work that you do will start giving you energy okay instead what we are doing we are getting up at 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock sometimes some people at 10 o'clock okay 
so at the time you need to take oxygen that is more oxygen is required for you to breathe to give the get the energy you're still sleeping at the time you want to have to remove all the toxins so that you can feel fresh and between 5 to 7 when you excrete every day you will see that your body will excrete very smoothly okay the excretion process will be very very smooth okay so that is very important so that means when you sync with the nature the process of the body and the mind will be smooth there won't be any kind of obstruction in the flow of the energy or uh, any process that has to happen okay and at the same time at morning 8 to 9 or 7 to 9 your stomach will be active so at that particular time when you give food the energy of food that time the body will process it properly okay and there are so many other things in how to eat what to eat okay all these things we will talk that in another session okay right now so it is very important for you to sync with the nature when you eat as well so your breakfast time should be before 9 so these are the things that we actually study in acupressure acupuncture where about organ clock theory food therapy anatomy physiology exercise and kind of activating the energy points in the body and most importantly i have been telling in the class also most importantly about barefoot walking how barefoot walking will help people to heal them completely without medicines okay so if you don't know anything if you go and do every day 2 to 3 hours of barefoot walking you will see that automatically all your health issues and problems are getting solved naturally you don't need any other treatment if you just do 2 to 3 hours of barefoot walking whether it's your mental issue physical issue doesn't matter it's the ultimate acupressure that you can do for yourself okay so you don't even need a course for it just go do barefoot walking in forest kind of areas where nature is there where you have stones and mud and sand all the pancha mahabhutas present around you okay when you do that you will see that automatically your body is healing 